I got exclusive access to the mansion. It's unclear how many alleged squatters are living here, but one of them is a 34-year-old actor from Italy, Morgan Gargiulo. The place is a mess, and Gargiulo admits he and his friends turned the house into Party Central. One all-night bash drew 645 revelers and didn't end until 9 a.m. Was this turned into a nightclub, essentially? Better than that. It's a mansion. You know, I mean, it was classier than that, I would say. I had like but, a, but this was a, basically a party house, no? Uh, at some point, yeah. Here's what the house looked like inside when it was listed at $4.5 million, lavishly furnished and picture perfect. Now sheets are hanging up instead of fancy curtains. Gargiulo promises there won't be any more parties, but anyone with a vacant Beverly Hills mansion might want to watch out. Are you planning on staying? Are you planning on moving? I'm planning on staying for a while, but, but I will be moving to a much better place. And so, you guys, if Beverly Hills neighborhood, if a Beverly Hills neighborhood cannot even get a hold of this, it is a wrap for everyone. If you are a landlord, you may want to avoid these states because if you've heard of these squatters, trespassers, or those with adverse possession, which is the technical term, this is a freaking growing nightmare in many areas. And my thing is, with home prices up, the cost of money is up, job layoffs keep happening. The last thing you want is to have another $3,500 mortgage that you think will be covered by a tenant, but instead there's someone who's broken in your house illegally, falsified docs such as lease agreement or utility bills, but you evicting them is illegal. So my thing with this whole squatter crisis is, Yes, these housing laws were put into place for tenant protection from slum landlords, but now I'm convinced that slum tenants exist even more. Why? Because people are broke and people lie. You have migrants who technically can't get jobs. You have Americans who have record debt, record home prices, incomes and incomes that are not on pace with how everything has gone up. And so quick sidebar, this is why hope is one of the greatest things you can have because if you're broke and hopeful, you're not going to do stupid-ish like Gargiulo. But if you're broke and hopeless, okay, those are the type of people who have nothing to lose. And so we have two sets of people. We have a bunch of squatters like Gargiulo running around. And then we have actual former tenants who just don't pay. And so they were either tenants who didn't pay because they couldn't, or they are tenants who intentionally went into a lease knowing that they were not going to pay that rent after the first month or two. And so, I mean, look at this. My tenants only pay me one month's rent and they know the game. They know after 30 days, you cannot evict them. Another person, they turn off the hot water and then reported that they had no hot water. It's a $250 fine per day, up to $15,000 punishable by five years in jail. Susan Mascara used up her savings paying for seven years of upkeep on her home. She inherited from her mother. I'm in debt. My credit cards are pretty much maxed out. John says, I'm not getting any rent and I'm paying the gas and electric every month. You guys, unfortunately, where is this happening? In freaking New York. Law, yeah, there's laws. You shouldn't be trying to steal my house. Yes, you are. We met Adele and Deloro outside the home her parents left her in Flushing, Queens. She's in the process of selling it. No, he left it. But she's been locked out. She claims squatters moved in on February 6th and refused to leave. What's it like being here knowing you can't go inside of your own home? It's enraging. It really is. In New York, squatters have rights after 30 days. By the time that someone does their investigation and they do their work and their job, will be well over the 30 days, and this man will have stolen my home. And now she's back. The man who claims to be the one actually leasing the house shows up. Call the police again. With the other guy, police took off the property. Do you see this? This guy just literally broke down my door, broke through myself and my daughter to get in here. This guy just forced himself into my house. He didn't show police a lease either. The police department doesn't have the lease? No. He's got no documentation. Just bills. So Adele, you're getting arrested right now? I'm being arrested. For what? For being, for, being in my, house, for being in my own home. And, it's not, it's not and where's your lease? She's fighting the house. It's not her house anymore. My deed That's is current and legal. Arrested for unlawful eviction. 
She changed the locks on a man who claims he lives there. You guys, what the f is happening? New York, we got a problem, okay? And listen, New York City is one of my favorite cities ever, okay? I love how New Yorkers are in your face. I love their swagger. I love if you can make it in New York, you can make it anywhere, okay? The concrete jungle. But who the f is moving to New York anymore after some of the things that are happening? How can you do business in New York? How can you, like, the laws in New York? I mean, if you guys saw my other video, you see what's happening in New York. You see what's happening with business, doing business in New York on a commercial real estate perspective. And now for landlords, people who just want to add a couple, you know, incomes, okay, to their real estate portfolio for their legacy, you can't even do that in New York anymore. And what's so crazy is the average home price in New York is $764,000. So from a landlord's perspective, once again, how would you feel if you woke up and now you have to carry a whole nother mortgage because you thought you were putting a tenant in your house, but instead there's freaking squatters. Did you guys see the fact that you can, after just 30 days, you can basically tell the landlord like, get out of here you got to go through the due process which let's be let's be real you guys anytime the courts are involved the public system that's going to be a minute and even worse did you guys see how the police accepted this guy's utility bills as proof of him being a tenant and so once again in this day and age, you can't tell me that people are not creating fake lease agreements, fake utility bills, and whatever else so they can prolong their stay. And so down in Florida, a new bill goes into effect on July 1st that essentially states, if someone takes possession of your home and they are not a current or former tenant, you literally ask them to leave. And if they don't leave, then you go to your local police, you file a complaint, and the police then removes them from your home. This way, you're saving uh, legal fees, you're not missing out on rental income, and most importantly, your health. You are not being stressed the hell out and being dragged through the mud like in other areas. So, you know, it's just sad to see that this, you know, real estate is the American dream. You know, real estate is a huge part of our economy. The real estate is one of the most stable asset classes, you know, is pretty reliable, but the American dream is kind of being like stepped on, squashed, flipped over, turned around, etc. So if you are a landlord, you may want to check out this website that shows you what type of squatter rights exist what type of adverse possession rights exist and that's what i have for this video hope you guys enjoyed it let me know how do you guys feel about this any of my landlords out there have you guys experienced any of this but until next time